As you know, tomorrow morning, children, they're going to be heading back to school for the first time in Griffin and Spalding County since the tornadoes ripped through their communities one week ago. Now, their neighborhoods are some of the hardest hit in North Georgia, and hundreds of children and their families lost their homes, are now living in shelters and motels. For now, 11 Alive John Sherrick joins us now from Griffin with more on that. John? Imagine this was your home, your children's home, for children living in the city of Griffin and Spalding County who survived the destruction of so much of what they've known. Being able to go back to school tomorrow, even for a half day, will be a welcome break. This shelter in Griffin, home for now for Shannon Shirley and her husband and their nine-year-old son. They can't move back into their real home. The tornado knocked it off of its foundation. It's slipping down a hillside. Shannon Shirley says her son can't wait to go back to school. He's finally just now starting to be able to sleep through the night to witness it firsthand. He was absolutely terrified. So far, the Griffin Spalding County School System has identified close to 1,000 families with school aged children who lost their homes. School buses will be stopping at their shelters and motels and relatives' homes to take the children to school. A half day Friday, then full time beginning Monday. Adam Pugh with the Griffin Spalding County School District. We wanted to get our kids back and, and assess the social emotional needs, talk about uh, how to process what they've seen and what they've experienced. We'll hopefully provide a much needed safe harbor, a routine, a, a sense of normalcy for some of these guys that have been uh, directly affected. Just what Shannon Shirley thinks her son needs most right now. So I can get him into a routine and get him, get him back into some kind of a schedule. It's going to be very important for him. Tomorrow's half day will end just after lunch. Then teachers will stay behind to review all they're going to need to do to resume full time on Monday. Jennifer. John, thank you.